Hi, this is Swati Sila from the software testing help.com team and in this segment we're going to learn about um, the boundary value analysis um, testing. Now what boundary value analysis is, is a test design technique um, that really focuses on finding range related errors. Now let me explain that to you with the help of an example. Um, one of the common areas where you know um, we might have unexpected errors are um, wherever there is a range. So let's say programmatically there is um, x that is an input and there is a statement um, if x is less than um, 10 then you know there, there is supposed to be result 1 and you know some amount of processing that goes on so all of this is supposed to be uh, you know programming statements but I'm not going to go into the technicalities um, right here else there's going to be result 2 and some other amount of um, processing so if this is the input what really has to happen for from the um, you know uh, from the point of view of a user is x can be either a value that is less than 10 or or it is could be greater than um, 10 correct so if it's less than 10 something needs to happen if it's greater than 10 something has to happen but let's say for some reason when the developer unintentionally was you know when the developer uh, was programming and unintentionally these operators are very very easy to uh, and susceptible to being switched you know uh, when we intend to use one but we use something else so in case if the if this programming logic was supposed to be if x is less than or equal to 10 that means result 1 is supposed to happen for values that are less than 10 and value that is equal to 10 this is the kind of error that might not be caught in um, you know when the program is being compiled because syntactically there's nothing wrong with this statement it's just the logic and if you and if we think about whether this will not be caught in the unit testing it might be but uh, the chances that you know that exact range of input value was chosen to test that might be uh, slim. So then, my, so this is the kind of I mean, based on a lot of you know previous experience of testers, this is one of the areas that you know uh, seems to be most flawed in applications. The range less than, less than or equal to, less than, you know equal to, not equal to, all of these operators have a higher chance of uh, getting switched. So. In order to be able to catch this kind of errors, the technique that is used to design, um, you know, uh, test cases around the boundaries is called boundary value analysis. So let's take an example again, numeric field 0 to 10 is the range. So according to boundary value analysis, boundary value analysis really the BVA concept, it directs us to first identify the limits the lower limit and the upper limit. In our case it's 0 and 10. So the principle of boundary value analysis is to pick data around this range and it, in, it directs us to pick a value that is 1 less than the lower limit, the lower limit itself and the lower limit plus 1. Similarly for the upper limit you would pick upper limit minus 1 um, upper limit and upper limit itself and upper limit plus one. So these are the three conditions or the data values that we always have to uh, you know provide in order to be able to check the ranges correctly. So following this example if I were to come up with a boundary value of you know um, value analysis, so if I were to design uh, test cases that will identify boundary related errors I would choose 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 9, 10, 11. So these are the six input values that I need to put in this field in order to check the boundaries extensively. So that's the basic concept. This can be used in a lot of different scenarios. For example, strings. Now strings, we can say they're alphabetical, well, you know, um, they are, you know, alphabet, uh, alphabetical in nature and all that. Uh, and where does the value, where does the concept of range come into picture? But strings have a factor called the length, right? So let's say if the password is supposed to be six characters, right? Anything less than six, you're going to 
um, it's not valid and you're going to see an error. So the programming logic should be if the length of the password field is less than 6, right? So in this case, if the programmer accidentally, you know, um, if it was less than or equal to 6, on your application, if you choose a password that is, um, you know, less than, even if you chose a password that is 6 characters in length, like A, B, C, D, E, F, which is actually valid as long as the, you know, as, as, as far as the length constraint is concerned. Even for this, it will display you a message that it is invalid. So boundary value analysis is not just important for numeric fields, it also applies for strings. Although uh, most of the times it is the numeric fields like, you know, uh, again, numeric data, numeric programming language, also, uh, I mean, programming, uh, I'm sorry, numeric programming uh, logic also come, makes, uh, also is a very good candidate for um, boundary value analysis. Here I have another example. This is a much more complicated business logic. Again, the loan principal amount and the different for different amounts, there are different slabs of in, in interest that gets applied. So um, let's not go into the detailed computations, but in case for any amount that is 4,000 and, um, you know, that is over 4,000 and less than 1,500 is the first condition, correct? So what if this was programmed to be less than or equal to? in which case the user is going to be, um, you know, the bank is going to collect an incorrect amount of interest from the user, which is definitely going to impact their, uh, you know, obviously the trust in the business. So this sort of scenarios are very, very, uh, you know, um, good candidates for boundary value analysis. And there's a lot of uh, range related errors if they have crept into the system unknowingly which cannot be caught syntactically because they are syntactically correct. It's just that the logical implementation of them um, and you know the exact numeric data that is supposed to go in there is incorrect. So um, boundary value analysis helps us identify that uh, by guiding us, by giving us a principle that wherever there is an aspect of limit you have to make sure that you choose your input data in a way that um, you choose a value that is less than the limit, the limit itself, and something that is over the limit. Thank you.